Hi there, I'm Don Mello and I'm the customer service manager for CraftCuts.com. I also manage our hand painting department and I wanted to give you a tutorial on how to paint a western theme on wood letters. We can paint your letters for you, but if you want to paint your own, here's how to do it. I'm using 6 inch letters in the font called Your Wood Type D, cut from our Baltic birch wood, but you can order any size in any font. The materials we use are acrylic craft paint in a variety of colors, Liquitex gloss medium and varnish, a 3 quarter inch flat brush, a round brush, a liner brush, a pencil, a black paint pen, and 220 grit sandpaper. I also have a paper towel, a paper plate, and water handy as well. I've laid down some butcher paper to protect my table from paint. First I'm going to paint the letter the base color. Each painter who works here has a different brush preference, but I like using the bristle brush because it fits into the nooks and the crannies of the letters really well. Once I have a good coat on the sides, I sand off the paint buildup on the face of the letter. Then I paint the face of the letter brushing it on in the same direction as the wood grain. I don't need a lot of paint on my brush because I don't want it to drip onto the sides of the letter. Now that my base coat is dry on these barn red and blue jade letters, it's time to start the western design. I'm going to draw out my general design with a pencil first and then fill it in with paint. Three of these letters have a rope design featuring a larger illustration to tie in the western theme. We usually put a sheriff's badge on the first letter with the first initial on the widest part of the letter. On the third letter, draw an acoustic guitar and cowboy hat, and on the last letter, draw cactus and cow skull. Now that you have your features, fill in the letter with a fun loopy trail for the rope. Then draw little five-pointed shapes for the star thistle. Don't draw too many to crowd the design, leave a little room for some polka dots as well. I have almost my entire design mapped out, I just need to draw a bandana pattern on the second letter. Start with a large teardrop shape, draw a smaller one inside, add scallops, and little eyelet lace clusters. Add a smaller paisley and maybe a scallop line. You can also add a couple of star thistles and some little daisies to tie the design together with the other letters. Now comes the fun part. I'm going to fill in the design with paint, starting with the rope. Paint a yellow line on top of the pencil mark using the liner brush. While that dries, I'll fill in the white parts, the star thistle, bandana pattern, and cow skull. I can also add a few polka dots by dipping the end of my brush in the paint and dabbing it on the letter. I'm using trail tan and spice brown for the sheriff's badge, cowboy hat and guitar, and leaf green for the cactus. I'm ready to put on the finishing touches. Using my paint pen, I'm going to carefully outline the braid of the rope with small arcs and outline most of my design pieces with black, such as the sheriff's badge, guitar and cowboy hat, cactus and skull, and the bandana pattern. Lastly, I polish off the design with accents in black paint using my liner brush. To complete the paint job, I brush on the Liquitex Gloss Medium and Varnish with a large flat brush. It helps seal the paint and gives everything a fresh glossy look. Once the Gloss Medium and Varnish is dried, I will go back and touch up the sides of the letters as needed. Be careful not to get any paint on the face of the letter, but if you do, simply wipe it off with a damp paper towel. This is a pretty advanced pattern, and I hope we've helped you get started with your western themed letters. Good luck with your project, and if you have any questions or just want us to paint the letters for you, please contact us and we'll be happy to help. I'm Don Mello for CraftCuts.com, and thanks for watching.